Our next step is to add vSphere host to be monitored. We're going to go back to the NWORKS server to accomplish this goal. And here we are back over in the NWORKS console. And I'll go to Connected VMware Servers. And I'll choose Add VMware Server. The IP address is 192.168.0.171. This is a host, not a vCenter server. And I'll provide credentials for logging into that server. And click Next. Now I haven't done a whole lot with this ESX server. It's really just a sample lab server. So it's called localhost. And the default monitoring group is one. We're not worried too much about monitoring groups here right now. But this is going to tell you about how many licenses it used too. This server only has a single CPU, so a single socket. So there's 11 sockets remaining, and that's all it's telling you down there at the bottom of the screen. And finish. So now we've connected one of our servers. And you can see we've got everything kind of going over here. There's our System Center Operations Manager server. There's our vSphere server. Monitoring load is 1%. Object count is 33, so it's actually finding some things. And that's a good thing. because we, In a little bit, we'll go back over to the Operations Manager console, and we'll see what it's actually found in the environment. And now, let's go over to the Operations Manager console and take a look at how our NWORKS gathering process is going. Make sure that all the NWORKS components, all the Veeam components, are actually operating. As you can see, we're back in the Operations Manager console, and this time I've expanded something new, NWORKS VMware in the monitoring area. And I've selected the Enterprise Manager dashboard. As you can see, our Enterprise Management server and our collector server are both in a green state, which means they're gathering information and bringing it over into the Operations Manager environment. And we can see further proof of that if we look at Enterprise Manager server state here under Enterprise Manager. We see that it actually is uh, in a green state. We have a performance dashboard, just as what we, um, uh, we may or may not see anything here, but right now it's, uh, it's, it's, we're not seeing anything. Then we have this topology map, which shows us that NWORKS is connected to basically the Operations Manager server, as well as to this VI API connection, which is connected to 192.168.0.171. So it's actually connected to our vSphere environment, because that's the IP address of my vSphere host that we're monitoring. And then we've got basically the Operations Manager environment over here. So NWORKS Enterprise, is it knows about the topology. It knows what it's looking for. It understands that the Operations Manager server exists. It also understands that the vSphere server actually exists. Then we also have information about the collection process. The collection state is good for the collector servers. Then we have the collector states. The VI API link is healthy. No active alerts with regard to the collector server. And again, we have diagrams that we can look at to see if um, the system actually understands how it's configured. And we're not seeing everything we want to see yet. Um, it takes a little bit of time for the vSphere metrics to start making their way back into uh, Operations Manager, but those will come eventually. Then we have the NWORK servers themselves. One of them is installed on SCOM. But you can also see that this group diagram gets pretty large over time. Let me close that. Then close this, and you can start seeing a little bit more. So this is the, uh, when we uh, explode the Operations Manager server, we see that there's a lot of different metrics we could be watching here. And again, it'll take a little bit of time, but ultimately we'll see vSphere, virtual machines, clusters, hosts, resource pools make their way into the Operations Manager environment for full monitoring, just as if they were running Windows and Microsoft Exchange, for example.